Hi, I'm Dr. Faith Elliott Rossing, Director of Economic Development and Tourism for Queen Anne's County, and I'm here today to talk to you about the 10K across the bay. We are definitely in countdown mode here in Queen Anne's County. I'm just here today to kind of raise your awareness to the event that's coming and how you might participate and answer any questions that you may have. So the event is Sunday, November 9th, 2014, and one of the questions that may be popping into your head is, and this impacts me how? Well, it probably impacts you differently depending on your perspective. Uh, and that depends on if you're a participant, which means that you're actually running in the race, or you're a business, because there are opportunities out there for you to participate from a business perspective and invite the runners and the people that will travel with them into your establishment. And personally, if you're a resident and not involved in uh, the race itself, but obviously because 20,000 people will be running from Anne Arundel County to Queen Anne's County, there will be some traffic impacts that you'll want to be aware of. So, what you're going to see is 20,000 people running across the bridge, and this is the official race bib. And I am pleased to also have with me today, an, the, this is the unofficial veiling, unofficial unveiling of the race shirt. And this is the official race shirt for the 10K across the bay. And you'll see that on the back, it offers uh, the names of the major sponsors. And that's Nationwide, Anne Arundel Medical Center, Lowe's Hotel, Annapolis, along with other uh, local uh, sponsors. And then at the bottom, there's going to be 20,000 of these shirts that say, hosted by Queen Anne's County, Live, Work, Play in QA. So I am really pleased to be able to have the first unveiling here this morning for you. So if you're a participant, hopefully you're excited about this. It is the first time event. It's an opportunity to participate in a timed event across the bridge. And besides that, you get the really cool shirts that I just talked to you about, as well as the opportunity to uh, visit businesses and uh, other locations in Queen Anne's County that are definitely interesting and we hope you'll wanna come back to and visit. If you're a business, then we also hope that you're excited about it because again, 20,000 runners in Queen Anne's County over the weekend gives you an opportunity to participate in sponsorship activities or advertise. There are a la carte options, a sample virtual goodie bag, and we're gonna be pushing this uh, information out on how you might participate in that through uh, emails, through social media, and through uh, the Queen Anne's County website. So if you go to qac.org, You'll find on the front page of the website a link to a packet of information about opportunities to participate from a sponsorship or uh, an advertising perspective. And you can find further information about the opportunities that exist within the county if you choose more services on the qac.org website and you uh, scroll down to the tourism office. And when that link comes up, you'll see over on the right hand or on the left hand side, there's a page for the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Run. If you click on that, it brings up uh, a billboard. Actually, the header on this page is actually a billboard that's on Route 50. So if you're traveling from Easton to Ken Island, you might want to keep your eye out for that right after the 404 intersection that says run to Queen Anne's County, Maryland, November 7th to the 9th. And it also provides the bridgerace.com uh, website as well. So race weekend, there'll be lots of opportunities to participate in events here in Queen Anne's County. They're listed here uh, on this page. It's gonna be changing. It'll be a fluid list that will uh, have things added to it as more things become available. We don't want you to miss any opportunities to participate. And we'll also put a link to the uh, information about the virtual goodie bag and advertising and sponsorship uh, information on that page as well. Also, if you're in the hospitality in industry and you're interested in participating in uh, Friday events, there are going to be Friday events going on in Anne Arundel County as well as Queen Anne's County. There'll be happy hours. Uh, and on Saturday, there will be a carb crawl. Many of you may be wondering what in the world is a carb crawl. And that's an event where the restaurants and other entities will participate and offer some sort of small plate or carb offering to people wearing their race bib. So if you're interested in participating in the carb crawl the end, and knowing who is participating in the carb crawl, there will be a window cling 
in the business's windows that indicates they are an official carb crawl partner. So on Saturday evening, as the runners are preparing for the race on Sunday, they'll be eating their way literally across the counties looking for uh, high carb intake items. So we certainly hope that we have residents and uh, runners that are participating in those events as well. Again, you'll need to show your bib if you're a participant. Here is a copy again of the official race bib. If you're a resident, one of the things that you're going to probably be asking is, how does this impact me? You may be excited, you may not be excited. If you're looking at this from a personal perspective, we hope that you're excited about it, the event actually, and you have the potential opportunity to meet people from 50 different states and four countries in one weekend. You'll be able to visit your favorite restaurants and attractions, and in addition to that, we'll be hosting a town hall meeting on Monday, October 27th, and the place has been identified as the Percy Thomas Senior Center on Kent Island. The time is yet to be determined, but we certainly hope that you'll come out and join us for this town hall meeting so that we might answer any of your questions and uh, alleviate any of your fears about uh, the impact that this will have to you from a personal perspective. This is a graphic that essentially shows where there are uh, participant parking and shuttle locations, where there are spectator parking and shuttle locations on the eastern shore and on the western shore, and it obviously shows the start area as being Northrop Grumman and the finish area as being the Chesapeake Bay Business Park. There'll be more information at the town hall meeting about this, more specific information if you're interested in knowing exactly how this process will work and how it will impact you. Again, Queen Anne's County is so excited to be a host county for this event. Uh, many of the charities that you know and love will be supported by this event. The Yellow Ribbon Fund, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, Team and Training, Bosom Buddies, and the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. So there are many ways to stay informed. There are many ways to become more knowledgeable about the event and how it will impact you and how you can participate. So we invite you to visit www qac.org or you can go to bridgerace.com. Thanks and again we're on the countdown November 9th 2014. And just remember Queen Anne's County is a great place to live, work, and play.